each other couldn't hey guys uh yeah we're on our way to a jumping lesson finally again so i'm very excited about that we are still jumping indoors obviously because it's really cold and today it's raining so yeah so since we're trailering there we have to tack up there outside since it's only one lesson we have to build out and take in the fences and stuff so i'm only taking Kara, and i know a lot of you wonder why i'm not taking santo and that is because the lessons are really expensive with this trainer so i might take him for another trainer to jump before the show that's just how it is i would have taken him if i was rich then i would jump for this trainer every week but yep and um, i'll put in the rolls here and thankfully we were out inside because look at this this is the outdoor arena this is how much it's raining here like look at that it was great at the very start hands on each other couldn't stand to be far apart closer the better now we're picking fights and slamming doors
she was really good and now I just carried in all of those fences I guess you saw how many fences there were and we had to carry them all both in and out so that was exercise of the day so now I'm going to take off her and uh, yeah she's wearing her show bridle but her home her total saddle fit sheepskin half pad and her shoulder relief girth from them as well which is so nice like and she got the privilege of using the pretty equipad today and I'm wearing my green goto breeches same belt my goto belt and my Aztec diamond equestrian shirt okay so now we are on our way back from the lesson and I'm really happy with how it went it was our first time jumping in over a month but it was really fun and she felt really good uh, as you can see we have a lot of fences there that I, I also said we had to carry both in and out because we were just three people uh, yeah you've probably seen the rose by now but we did lots of like technical work like on circles with small fences with striding and just like lots of turns and stuff which is really great for Kara because when I have to turn all the time she can't just run like she wants to and he also gives me some great tips on how to like keep the rhythm and how to like keep her going forward without just running and uh, with my reins people always comment that my reins are too short literally the thing he says the most is shorten your reins shorten your reins because when my reins are long and she's leaping and jumping around that causes me to get behind her movement like when my reins are long my upper body like tilts back a bit which causes her to leap and jump more like a bunny which is what she's not supposed to do and when my reins are short I can keep a steady contact with her mouth her so the reason I ride with such short reins is because I'm supposed to follow her movement better and to be able to keep a steady contact and also keep a correct position while keeping the steady contact so before you start like yelling at me because your reins are too short and it's abuse I have a trainer as you can see in the video which tells me to have short reins for a reason and it works very well so I am very happy and it went really good and she felt really good I still feel like we have to work a lot on the rhythm like it's very easy that I sit back too much I fall behind her movement and that I cause her to like around the turns I kind of like just hold too much and I lose all the speed and sometimes when I go to fences I see strides that aren't there like I, I see a stride so I like pull back so she's like just jumping up and down on the spot instead of cantering forward so I just need to better the forward rhythm and to keep her that way and to not sit back too much and to not hold back too much without having leg on so that she's just jumping up and down like a bunny uh, and the last course he was like this is really good but you would have been disqualified if it was a show and I was like what why and he was like because you forgot those two fences in the middle so that was really annoying I don't know it just felt very natural to me I never forget courses but it just felt very natural to me to just continue around and so that's why we did like half a wrong course and then we did like half of it again it was because I forgot those two fences in the middle so yeah my bad. Now the lesson started at 4 so we, le we left home at 2.30 then we drove here it took like an hour and a half and then we tacked up we had to build out the course and then we rode then we had to build the course like the fences back in and now we're driving home and now it's 6 and we have to go by the horse feed and then we have to drive an hour and a half home so when I say that stuff with horses and me takes all day, I mean it takes all day. And I also mean I, that I live in the middle of nowhere. Like it's so, so bad. Like a lesson takes one hour. For us it takes four or five, six, six hours. So yeah, shows our dedication to the sport. Okay, now, now peace out.